Hey, Sister Maria. Okay, so I sent the the reviews, what the reflections. Friday after I had to go to work for polar bear training at one, so I ran out to the zoo. Between that and the kids rock the zoo that evening, which I also worked, um, I finished them up in, in the zoo library and I sent them over to the zoo computer. Problem is they're in the zoo computer in the library, and I'm at home. Um, I'm not going to the zoo today. Uh, I worked really hard on those. I like. They were already done. Most of them were done, and then I, whatever. I don't know. Any case, so I'm gonna do this, and hopefully this substitutes well. Um, to start off with, my door is creaky. I want a, a good background instead of my dirty house, so I'm sitting my doorway. Okay, so this one is about my my reflection on uh, Todd's presentation, the second class, because apparently I didn't get that one. Um, we talked about the freshwater, and then the the darter fish and then the mussels. Um, I was really intrigued by his presentation. What was really fun is I know I worked with his wife Erica with the zoo team for several years, several projects actually. Um, but I never met Todd. So that was pretty cool. It's raining out here. It's kind of chilly. Um, <laughs> I found it really interesting that the the, the darter fish actually survive. They prefer to live in the rift, like. I've been, I've waited out there, and that's really fast area. The fact that they, they prefer to live out there is just so intriguing. Um, I figure they would just like swim th through there, uh, swim through there, like, and then swim out. <laughs> that's the ta habitat that people, that animals search for. That's really intriguing. Um, they're kind of cute too. I'm not a marine biologist person, but they were pretty cute. Um, then the muscle part I thought was really interesting. I knew they had the one foot, they had the, the opening. Um, I've had a few during, like, Chinese buffets. Not necessarily that good because they've been sitting out in the buffets. Um, so I don't like muscles to eat them myself. But, uh, I never knew much more than just, like, general facts. Like, the zebra mussels, highly invasive, and practically, like, kills the entire muscle population, native population in Lake Erie. Uh, zebra mussels are really angry. They grow so much, they like stack on top of each other. Like you just find these massive growths of, of zebra mussels. The most disturbing thing about the entire night was probably how mussels reproduce. So they have to find a fish as a host and it's really sad that they clamp onto their gills and that's really disturbing. They're like parasites. Some of them are. Um, yeah, kind of gross. Especially how how closely they didn't mimic mimic the fish. Like they look like legit fish. Uh, that was creepy. Um, Alright, that, that was pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna run through the next few of these, and hopefully they'll be able to get substitute. Um, not contact me, but I know the grades are due pretty soon. So, bye. Sorry, I just barked. That's the thing I do. Sorry. Okay, bye.